In this video, we'll demonstrate the painting simulation in SpruceComp 12. As an example, you will see the car painting project located in Examples folder. First of all, while creating this project, we loaded the part on the Model tab. On the Machining tab, we changed parameters for the robot, namely indicated that this robot can be used for painting. The loaded part was set as a part and an empty workpiece was set as a workpiece. After that, we created an acceptable toolpath for painting and set the necessary parameters for the operation. In order to use the painting simulation, go to the Operation Parameters tab and set the simulation tab as Painting. Next, select the painting type. There are two types of painting in SpruceCom 12 simple and thickness measurement. First, let's begin from simple. This type of painting was used in earlier versions. It shows what areas of the part will be painted. After selecting it, it remains only to calculate the path. Reset the workpiece. Turn on the visibility of the part. and set the result. Now let's select the second type that is named Thickness Measurement. This type takes into account the conical shape of the spray cone and also allows you to control the thickness of the future paintwork. After selecting it, set the paint flow rate in millimeter per second and on the feed speeds set the required work feed rate. Let's go to the simulation tab. You may notice that an additional window has appeared where you can control the parameters of the new type of painting. This window is displayed only for operations where a new type of painting is set. The window displays a color scale the main color that corresponds to the permissible coating thickness and displayed according to the color of the operation, while yellow and red colors are needed to display excessive thickness of paint overlay. Reset and run. For the allowable thickness, a range of values can be specified in millimeter. And for an excess thickness, the values are given in percent of the upper value of the allowable thickness. So, if the allowable value is 0 0,1, then 150% of 0 0,1 will be 0 0,15 and 200% 0 0,2. If you need to change the thickness values, then you don't need to perform the simulation again. Simply change the value and press Enter. It's also possible to control the accuracy of the result. For this, there are two parameters, model resolution and simulation step. After changing the model resolution, it's necessary to reset the workpiece and run the simulation. To increase the accuracy, it's also possible to reuse the painting modeling step, but for this, you don't need to reset the workpiece. Thank you for your attention.